What are you doing next though? What What's next for you? What What's next, bro? What's next? What have you got planned? I'm gonna be telling you in this video what type of direction this channel is gonna be going in, what is actually next for me after the Paris Marathon. I've been training a little bit differently. I've been lifting a lot more weights recently, trying to get juice, bro, you know what I mean? Get those fucking swans going. I want to strengthen my body, improve the durability in my body to stop getting so injured in running. But I'm aware that a lot of the time I was getting injured in running because I was running a lot of miles quickly because I didn't actually have that much running experience. Started running in January 2020 and then trying to run like an elite runner 70 miles a week, which I was trying to do. It's very, very difficult unless you have the gradual experience of increasing your mileage gradually. Don't know why I said gradual experience, got my words mixed up there. I'm feeling like I want to get up to a 200 kg deadlift. I don't know if that's possible, but a little something I want to do for really cool if I could run a sub two hour 30 marathon next year and be able to do 200 kg, 200 kg, 200 kg deadlift. Jesus, that was tough, wasn't it? 200 kg deadlift? Wake up, bucko, you know what I mean? Back in the action with vlogging now, Jez. <laughs> I've got a double session today. I've got a run, it's Saturday. I'm probably gonna do around a 12 kilometer, maybe 14 kilometer run. First thing in the morning, come back here, go on a little, you'll see. What do you reckon about my clean shave, by the way? I had um, a cutthroat yesterday. I'm on one of those ridiculous things, yeah. Where I've spent 36 quid on a haircut every single time I go and every fifth one you get it free but it's not really free because you're paying mm. i thought i know what i'm getting a free trim so why not i get cutthroat shave 31 pounds fucking cut me as well like i'm paying 31 quid don't you see that cut me there cut me down there 31 daylight's bloody robbery I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them lace If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase The run is complete. I'm back here. Got in a nice hour long run or I ran for an hour basically. I just wanted to get an hour of running in. 12.5 kilometers. Went over a little bit of trails. Man, it feels so nice yet. Yeah. Starting your Saturdays off the right way. Going out on a run, getting outside. Man, it makes you feel nice. You never go out on a run and think, I wish I hadn't have done that. I've got a little quick meal in before. A little up and go, straight to the gym. I've got typical overnight oats, we already know, we already know, we've got the hydration tablet, two fish oil, cod liver oil tablets, one multivitamin, one gut bacteria, and one vitamin D tablet. I'm gonna scrant hand dare this, and I'll see you in a bit. I'm just on the way to the gym now, feeling nice and snug in a winter coat. It ain't half gone. Brisk all of a sudden. Anyway, today I'm doing a little bit of strength training. I'm gonna be operating around four reps, giving myself around four minute break in between sets. So allow my body time to recover, I'm not going towards failure. Bench press today. And then I might do a little bit of an accessory arms, probably bodybuilding style afterwards.
if you've been following my YouTube over the Paris Marathon training, I hugely appreciate it. But I'm aware you might be thinking, what's next for me? Because the London Marathon is in October next year. The applications for that start in December. The date is to be announced. So I'm currently waiting on that. So I don't know for sure whether I'll be in there or not. But I've got a championship level entry time, which was a sub 240 marathon. And I've just done that by like, what, 33 seconds. So fortunately, I've been able to qualify for that and I've also joined a running club which was needed because I needed the athletics commission just to show that I'm involved with a running club. I haven't been on any runs with a running club. I've joined the Ealing Eagles which is something by me. There's a running club in Chiswick that had a few 225 or 1225, 1224 marathoner which was ideal for me because I want to be surrounded by runners that are faster than me, more experienced than me because I don't want to be the best in the room essentially, it's not in the room, it's outside. Being around people that are better than you turns you into one of those people. In this running club, I've kind of done it for convenience because Chiswick's too far away for me, really. Because they start running at half seven on the evening and it's too late. I'm in Bubbies by nine o'clock. Ealing's a little bit closer for me, but it looks like judging by their best times, I'm near enough their best runner. I haven't been there yet. Maybe there's a few people that just aren't registered that are quicker, which is exactly what I want. But it isn't ideal, but I'm going to be running with them, I don't know, maybe twice a week, something along those lines, because I'm someone who enjoys running by myself ultimately. But I want the balance of having the camaraderie of working something together with people, but also having the time where I run by myself and it actually helps my mental health, where you can uncover stuff and you get to think about things. That's why I also like to run without headphones quite often. I've been running with headphones a little bit more recently since the marathon, but I love my long runs still where I don't run with headphones and it gives you a chance to just think about a few things. I'm not saying I'm struggling with anything by any means, but it just naturally helps, you know, it's just kind of like a form of meditation. So I wanna have that balance of running by myself still, running with people and working working something together with people because I know from doing martial arts in the past that that camaraderie is really really powerful and it makes me feel good so that sense of community is what I want I have been doing a lot more weights recently and the main reason is I think judging by my own physique with the other marathon runners at the Paris Marathon that run my time they're all quite slim and quite skinny now I don't have a huge amount of muscle mass on me I'm about 68 kilos at the minute but I'm very lean and I'm naturally very light I'm five for eight so I was looking at my physique, you can kind of see it on the videos, like I have more muscle mass on me than the other people. Now having more muscle mass in running, it does slow you up because your body requires more oxygen. So imagine if I lost five kilograms, six kilograms of muscle mass, my VO2 max would improve, but my heart rate essentially, or my heart strength is the same, but I've lost that muscle mass. It's gonna be pumping out more blood every time it beats, so my heart doesn't have to beat as quickly therefore I could run at a faster pace and be more comfortable with that pace if I lost some muscle mass but my initial fitness journey was never to be the fastest runner it's to be the best possible athlete that I can be and for me an ultimate goal that I want to do whether this is crazy I don't know but the crazy goals are the ones that excite me and like that fire in my belly so to speak can I do a 200 kilogram deadlift at the same time as running a sub two hour 30 marathon in October in London next year? Not literally deadlifting as I'm running, but basically be able to deadlift 200 kilograms, one rep max, and still be able to do that time. Now, I'm training a little bit more strength workout, so I'm doing around four reps on my heavy lift, so deadlift, squats, and bench press which was kind of inspired by my brother who's doing strength training recently so four minutes rest in between the workouts and doing between four to six reps not going towards failure strength training improves your strength but it's not the best way of getting muscle mass which is what I want pretty much because I want to be stronger but I don't want to add too much muscle mass but I'm obviously going to be adding more muscle mass because I'm stronger my body needs to grow if I'm slowly increasing the weight every 
every time I deadlift, every time I squat, every time I bench press, then naturally that's going to trigger growth hormones within my body. So it needs to grow muscle to get stronger essentially. I predict I'm probably, if I'm going to be 200 kilogram deadlift, I might have to get towards 71, 72 kilograms potentially. Like I said, I'm at 68 now. So four kilograms extra of muscle, but that means that it's a long way off because I only need to knock off nine minutes off my marathon time. The London Marathon is meant to be slightly tougher. So say 10 minutes, 11 minutes, and I need to knock off in a year. I knocked off from 2.56 to 2.39. So I knocked off 17 minutes within a year last time. However, I don't think I really knocked off 17 minutes of my potential because you look at my average heart rate in my first marathon and it was 150 beats per minute. You look at my average heart rate on this marathon, it was 160 beats per minute, but there are a few discrepancies, a few glitches in the watches. Say it was 162, 161. That means that I was working a lot harder so that I haven't actually got 17 minutes quicker, you know, or my potential hasn't got 17 minutes better, if that makes sense. And the more you do something, the harder it is to get better especially in those last few stages currently building up my strength i'm running around four to five days a week sometimes i'm running on a treadmill which i absolutely hate but it's quite difficult doing double sessions every day especially when i've got an eight hour job and i've got to edit youtube videos for example but i'm strength training prioritizing my strength training trying to get stronger and then when i'm at the point where i feel like i'm really getting stronger and i can start to turn my priorities a little bit but anyway in this channel over the coming weeks because i'm not training for something now i don't have to worry about vlogging which was something that when i was vlogging my marathon training i couldn't really get creative with other videos that i wanted to make because you know i just literally didn't have the time to do it and i couldn't just train twice so i've got a few fitness challenge videos that i want to do and a few more fun content videos like something a little bit more creative that i want to do over the coming weeks to end the year strong like comment subscribe thank you very much for watching see you next week because i've got a fun video next week